What is up everyone, this is Mo Charles here and today I'm going to show you how to enable TPM from BIOS for Windows 11 upgrade. So a lot of people have been getting this error for the TPM 2.0 that Windows 11 requires it. I'm sure you can still kind of force your way through Windows 11 without these alleged requirements. We'll see more to come when Windows 11 comes, I will make a video on that. But for now, to make sure you're compatible for Windows 11, I'm going to show you how to basically fix this weird error that you may be getting on your Windows basically or PC basically. So first you want to actually kind of go to uh, your search bar and write tpm.msc and you'll see basically this come up, this compatible program. So it'll say compatible TPM cannot be found. So it's in interesting that it may actually say like it because cannot be found, verify that this computer has a 1.2 TPM or later and it is turned on in the BIOS. So usually it's just not on in the BIOS, hence why this error is happening. And I'm actually going to kind of show you what this basically means and it's going to be a little interesting because it's not the same for everyone it's actually a different across the board so just to give you a perspective i do have a msi a uh, what's it called uh bio setup this this is basically where the motherboard and all that other good stuff is from myself because i've ordered it from cyber power pc that's what they installed it with msi that's what like it came with so it's going to vary some of y'all might look like those usual screens some y'all if you have the gaming computers types it might look like this or a little bit different where you see basically this happening uh, at the end of the day, you're kind of going either into security or settings or advanced for specifically MSI. You're going into advanced, you're going into trusted computing, and you'll see the options there. If you obviously don't see it, you may not have the firmware. Like I said, when the Windows update comes out, I will help you show a workaround on how to basically get that. But for the sake of now, I'm just kind of giving you a perspective. Like, this is how you'll have to do. Again, it can vary if you have the usual BIOS section, it might not work. There could be a lot of other factors that could be contributing to it you might not have the right processor that's what I actually allegedly said for me it's weird i have an i7 7700 it's apparently not good enough but like i said you can force your way through and download the update you don't have to follow their guidelines uh, a little interesting but yeah like i said you can kind of go down that route and take it from there but wanted to still give you a perspective that you can turn it on retry the health app and go from there but again don't take the health app too too much too hard you don't have to rely on it fully. A lot of computers that I even personally had were not compatible with Windows 10. I did it. They worked fine. So same thing. Microsoft's just doing their due diligence to make sure like this is what you need. And I be, I do believe their requirements are a fair, fairly too high. I, I do think it's a little bit too damn high. But hey, I digress. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of quickly show you again. You're going to have to basically turn off your computer. Turn it on. Either press F10, 11 or 12 or maybe delete or escape. It can, again, it can vary for everyone and from there whether it's intel or amd i'm gonna go in and you're gonna basically go to settings either peripherals or advanced or security and find it applic for applicable for you like i said it's just too broad to ex explicitly explain this is how msis would work you go to advanced trusted computing and take it from there uh it's usually under security um so yeah that's basically it if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that motor out peace